All right. Yeah. F top fives, as you can see. But five creepiest and most chilling pieces of unexplained footage. This should be interesting. Could have seen them, no. But yeah. Hopefully not. Let's go. From footage of an unidentified creature spotted in California to one of the strangest pieces of video I have seen in a while, here are five mysterious and unexplained pieces of footage that I know are going to get you thinking. Sit back and enjoy. Mysterious California Creature In June 2017, the California Department of Fish and Wildlife were called in to investigate a sighting of a mysterious ape-like creature in woods near La Crescenta. Footage of the creature was caught by Jacob Gardner while he was walking in the woods on his lunch break. At the time, despite hearing strange noises and feeling a bit uneasy, he didn't see anything but decided to video the area with his phone anyway. It wasn't until he checked the footage after that he realised the creature, that clearly has four limbs, was swinging around in the trees. Take a look. Officials with the California Department of Fish and Wildlife say they do not know if what was captured in that video was in fact a great ape. After viewing the footage, officials became concerned as they were sure it was some type of ape that could pose a serious threat to public safety. The creature would be out of its natural habitat, hungry and scared, and would be capable of killing or seriously injuring a human. One theory on how it got there is that it was possibly an illegal pet that grew too big and got out of control, so was released or escaped into the wild. But as of yet, we do not have any idea exactly what this thing is. What are your thoughts? To be fair, yeah, I've been seeing things about big black cats in our country. Now, obviously, our country, we don't have nothing. We have deers, foxes, rabbits, nothing that's going to actually, like, nothing that hunts, like, but for ages, people in the UK have been saying that they see a giant black cat. Obviously, we have cats, but people have been seeing giant ones, like a panther, and obviously, we don't have them here, but now... People have actually taken pictures of these big black cats. And they're like not as big as like your average pamper, I suppose. But they're much big. Like they're bigger than the average dog. Do you know what I mean? But people do think that... I think in the 70s in our country, you could just have pets. And then obviously they brought in licensing and made that illegal. And then people just let their pets loose. So they think maybe there's still some, do you know what I mean, existing. Maybe. Might be the same thing. But yeah. Let's go. Black-eyed children. <clears throat> Black-eyed children have been the talk for many years. And no one really knows if they are an urban legend or some sort of paranormal entity. What we do know is that they resemble children and typically have pale skin and black eyes. Tales of them have been reported all around the world, usually lurking on the side of the highway or around residential homes. Well, I was recently shown a YouTube channel called Fantastic Daily, who are running a series of videos called BEK Investigations, meaning black-eyed kids. The channel is pretty dedicated to this topic, and has some interesting explanations and theories around these reported beings. He also has some footage that, although he doesn't claim is of black-eyed children, he doesn't have an explanation for what was sighted. It was caught on the man's dashcam at the end of May in 2017, when he was returning home after one night from visiting his wife in hospital. Take a look. Uh, I, I had I was coming home to get fresh clothes for my wife because they're going to be discharging her tomorrow morning. Um, I didn't I didn't stick around to see if there was any other activity. I just I just made sure to grab the clothes and leave. And um, thankfully, uh, my son was not with me at the time.
It may seem like just a person walking, but he is in a pretty secluded area and it's close to midnight. Since he is investigating black-eyed children and the person was walking along the side of the road, you can imagine people are pretty convinced he has got footage of a black-eyed child. What do you think? big child, I'd say it looks more like Bigfoot. Area 51 UFO This next video was released in May 2017 and is claimed to be leaked footage from Area 51. The video is thought to have been filmed in the 1980s and features a strange object that appears to be soaring high in the sky, moving in an unusual way, then towards the end of the footage, a strange light can be seen. Take a look. The video has been hailed as a very important discovery in the search for the truth about Area 51 and the secrets it is hiding, or at least has hidden in the past. The footage has been extensively studied and people do not have an explanation for it. It definitely looks strange, but just what is it? What do you think? Do you know what? It makes you laugh that like UFOs aren't even a crazy thing anymore like the american government has admitted it the R russians the chinese they've all been saying it for years like yeah there is a thing there are there is something in the sky now america's admitted it but it's amazing that we live in a world now where it's just like people like the american government come out and yeah, have basically admitted that think videos that military videos that have gone round that they said was fake aren't, and they have got. Do you know what I mean? Like they've they they've admitted it, <clears throat> and no one bats an eye at it. If you told someone that, they'd just be like, like people aren't, and you think that's like what the whole world has kind of been wanting to know for years and then they admit it and it's just like no one cares it's weird it's weird but that was a big thing that they admitted to having um craft like and have back engineered craft right yeah yeah crazy but now when I see UFO videos, I'm like, it's not, it, that is not like crazy conspiracy anymore. <laughs> That's just like, yeah, whatever, yeah, they're there, yeah. Strange radio sounds. Now this one is not technically a video, but it's very creepy. And the person who shared it did film the radio it was coming out of. Videos of this have been uploaded to other YouTube channels, but I'm going to show you it from Johnny a man who frequently makes videos about weird broadcasts and numbers channels. This one is over 15 minutes long, although the actual chanting and yelling was going on for hours the night he recorded this. You can check out the full audio on Johnny's channel, but take a listen. What's strange about this is that at first, it sounds like people messing around. However, it happens every night and has done for many years. First being reported in around 2011. The fact it's also live and not electronically generated suggests that there is no way this is people messing around. They just wouldn't keep it up this long. It's thought they are speaking in Malay and it has been suggested they have an Indonesian accent. It's pretty unsettling and doesn't sound like typical amateur radio operators. I haven't got a lot more information on it, but if anyone can help decipher it or figure out what is going on, then I'd love to know. Mysterious Intruder. This next clip was posted back in 2015 
by a guy who was genuinely convinced that something strange was in his house, and it's honestly one of the creepiest videos I've seen. It was filmed in Australia and started when the man who was living with his parents whilst his house was being built took three Snapchat videos of his parents' native birds to show his friends. Well, after uploading the third video, one of his friends messaged him to ask who was lurking in the background. After looking back over his story, he too could see something pressing up against the back door glass. It's hard to make out, but whatever seems to be up against the door is not there on the first Snapchat that was taken just seconds before. Take a look. Right, so the first one of my parents' little birds is this little guy. It is little Leo. He's a cockatiel. And here I am with my good little mate, Puffin. But there is more. About a week later, he was still shaken up from what was seen in the video, and was convinced it was human, animal, or possibly something else. Well, he could hear loud banging coming from outside the door, where the figure was first seen earlier in the week. He went to investigate and film it, before a loud bang occurred on the opposite side of the house. Fast forward a few days, and the guy had posted it on the internet. And here is where things get even more creepy. Someone enhanced the footage of him investigating the loud bangs at night, and could see a figure that the guy swears should not be there. Take a look. That is insane. Later, he took a video in daylight to show that the black mass in the corner of the one room should not be there. After the video was enhanced, he and his partner left the house to stay in a motel for a few nights. They also called the police, who came to investigate, and said they think someone had broken into the house, thinking it was empty since his parents were away, and that that was them hiding in the corner. If that isn't terrifying enough, the guy doesn't think this was the case, since all the doors and windows were locked, and it would have been hard for anyone to get in or out without him noticing. To make matters worse, the figure that was seen in the first video pressing up against the glass, the man swears bears a resemblance to a face he used to see during sleep paralysis episodes. So, that's five mysterious videos that need to be explained. <coughs> I hope you've enjoyed, and just to let you know... Yeah, it's always is more... If they ring the police or something like that, do you know what I mean? Then you kind of think, that's what I always think is, is it's impossible to prove if you haven't got video editing skills. It's impossible to prove that videos are fake, but it's whether or not you believe the person. Yeah. The per person's reaction, sometimes you can just tell that someone's truly scared. Although, I would, and mind you know, to be fair, I was going to say, if I, if, if, say if I was here or something, and like, someone started tapping the window, which would be weird, because I'm on second floor. Um... Don't know if my first instinct would be to film, but then I was thinking if it had happened before, you you might because you're kind of a bit more prepared and you probably told people and be like, I'm going to film if it happens. But yeah, it's crazy that the police was like, yeah, no, it looks like someone broke in. But I actually was listening to a policeman's. Um, paranormal stories from being here yeah, on duty. It's pretty fascinating. One of them was a possessed girl. This 
this teen girl, like, I don't know, 13, 14, whatever, had basically punched her dad. And they'd rung the police on her, which is weird anyway that you grown man would ring a, the police on a kid. But, yeah, had punched and hurt the dad. And the police was like, when I got there, he's like, you see loads of these sorts of things, and it's always the same thing. Like, maybe the girl's got a boyfriend, and the dad said, don't want to, do you know what I mean? And something, and he's like, you, it's always going to be the same thing, or she's just done something, and he's kicked off, and then she, like, he's like, you know what to expect. He's like, this little girl... He's like, she's, he's, he said, I was like, why have you hit his dad? And she, he's like, she went, because his ancestors keep bothering me. So, and I was like, what? He's like, that was a, he's like, that's a new one to me. Like, he's like, I didn't say that, but I thought it, I thought, never heard that one. He's like, she's, he's like, I said, what do you mean? She's like, his ancestors, they won't leave me alone. So I punched him. And he's like, as much as we have an arrest quota, this is clearly a mental health problem. So he booked her in with that and he said, then it's my duty to kind of, I'm the guardian now until she gets put into a mental hospital, basically. I basically said, I'm sitting with her at the regular hospital. They've done the tests on her or whatever. They're in the morning, she's going to, go to the mental hospital he's like but I've got to stay with her he's like she's going on about ancestors and you know what I mean all this weird stuff and saying whatever and he's like and I'm just sort of sitting there he's like I just think she's nuts he's like and I'm just going yeah yeah he's like because I'm he's like mainly I'm sitting there thinking I just don't want her to kick off like he's like so I'm just agreeing with her he's like thinking in the morning I can just hand her over and that's it He's like, and then she fell asleep. He's like, and then her bed started to, like, shake. He's like, like I thought. He's like, like as if she was tapping her leg. He's like, but she wasn't. He's like, I could see she was asleep. He's like, and I'm, he's like, but her bed's moving as if she was. He's like, and I'm looking, I'm thinking, is she, like, winding me up? He's like, but she wasn't. And he's like, but her bed was shaking. And he said, and then the nurse came. But the nurse came, like, so he's like, say if her bed's there, I'm sitting here, the door's here, she's on this wall, so she can't see who's coming. Because people come from that way. He's like, so this little girl, he's like, she can't see who's coming down the hall. And where they're going. He's like, and the bed was shaking. He's like, and then this nurse was walking down the thing. He said, and just before the nurse got in the room, it just stopped. He's like, and there's no way that she could have that, like known. It's impossible that she, that she could have known that that nurse was there. And he's, he's like, this policeman, do you know what I mean? It's a policeman. He's like, at that point, I was like, this is like way out of my league <laughs> but yeah yeah also another woman who had something keep coming on her roof at night and the police kept going around not finding anything and then they turn up with a dog and the dog got back injured and the policeman basically said don't ring us anymore like we can't help you basically but yeah yeah anyway that's the reaction sweet